What do you think of when you hear the word diet? Chicken and rice? Cutting out all carbs and sugars? Or just some strict diet in general? For years, this has been engraved into all of our heads, for reasons that are still unknown. Today, I'm going to show you that that does not have to be the case. You can lose weight and actually enjoy the things that you're eating. I know it's a crazy concept, but true nonetheless. Take it from me, after being overweight my entire life, in just the beginning of this year, transforming from this to this, in merely six months' time. Today I'll be showing you how to actually enjoy your diet, with foods that actually don't make you question your life choices. The point of these foods is not only to taste good, but keep you full and satiated while also hitting your goals. A full day of eating, low calorie, high protein foods. But there is a catch. I'm bulking, so I have to be eating a lot of calories. While this might not be fun for me, it'll be fun for you to watch. Without further ado, let's get into a full day of eating 3,650 calories of low calorie, high protein foods. Little bit of a disclaimer, do not eat exactly what I ate in this video for a full day of eating. Try to get some more nutrients in there, but hey, let's get started. Wow, up early in the morning, man is hungry, fresh out of the shower. Sorry I didn't catch that for the YouTube video, maybe next time. Let's start it off with some breakfast. Now don't think your options are limited for this one. You got protein pancakes, protein waffles, French toast, anything, anything under the sun. Any breakfast item that you can think of, you can make it low cal and make it taste damn good. So let's get into one of my favorites, the protein pancakes. Woo! This one's actually a pretty simple one. Five ingredients needed. Your baking powder, your egg whites, some almond milk, some Kodiak cakes, and your choice of protein. Pretty much just get them mixed into a bowl, slap them on the pan, and there you go. Let's show you how these come out. Hey. Mm-hmm. Decent. You can probably make them more aesthetically pleasing than me, but hey, I do what I can. This whole plate's racking up to 350 calories, 44 grams of protein. That is not bad. Wanna add some more volume to this? Throw some Greek yogurt on it. Throw some fruits on it. I'm gonna throw some sugar-free maple syrup on it. Make it your own. It's all up to you and what you can stay consistent with in the long term. This isn't no short-term diet. This is this is a lifestyle. You need to make sure your diet is something you can do for the rest of your life. So you gotta make sure it tastes good. I'ma down these, probably hit the gym, and then we'll see what we're eating next, fellas. Woo! Look who it is! I'm sucking my thumb. We're at we're the gym. <laughs> we're at the gym, about to hit a leg day. I have to uh, hit a leg day in an hour. Let's see how this works. An hour. We're, we're gonna down a Rice Krispie Treat in the gym. Almost forgot to tell you. That brings the total calories up to, I think, just over 400. And we're not even close to being done, fellas. Hey, we'll catch you after the gym. I'm out of here. Ah, uh, and we're back. You might be wondering where my girlfriend is. I pushed her a little bit too hard on leg press and she went home crying. I, I wish I was joking, but I'm not. But we finished up the leg day and we picked up a Bill Bar. Now these are probably the lowest calorie protein bars you're gonna find. They don't taste horrible, but they're not the best tasting protein bars in my opinion. But for the macros, they're definitely worth it. Built Bar is coming in at 130 calories, 17 grams of protein. That's pretty good. With this going in our system, we only have 575 calories in the hash so far. This is going to be a very long day, fellas. I'm not gonna lie to you, so. Uh, if we're being 100% honest, you're not gonna always have time to cook your own meals. So you need convenience. What is the best thing for convenience? Fast food. There are definitely plenty of fast food options when you're trying to lose weight. One of them being Chipotle. Let me show you my go-to. Let's go hit Chipotle. Dun, dun. We're here. We've arrived. I would bring you guys in with me, but I'm not gonna look like a bozo. So I'll be right back. Magic. We secured the bag. This is definitely my top pick when I'm out and looking for a low calorie option. Not only does it taste good, but it also has protein, keeps you full, keeps you satiated. Let's take a gander at it. Dude in Chipotle does not know how to load a bowl, first of all. Give you a little look. Give you a little look. What we got, we got white rice, we got chicken, hot sauce, lettuce, and fajita vegetables. That is coming out to 425 calories, 38 grams of protein. That's not bad if you're out and in a pinch. And this isn't the only thing you can get. You can definitely customize the bowl to your liking. This is just what I find keeps me full. Experiment for yourself. Whatever keeps you the fullest and whatever helps you hit your goals. With this down the hatch, we are at exactly a thousand calories for the day. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is already getting hard to down food. I'm gonna get this down, try to go pick up my girlfriend. We'll see how that goes. We'll see you at the next meal. I forgot to mention in that last clip, one of the people that followed me actually gave me a Chipotle card. So that meal was on the house. Michael, if you're watching this, I love you, dog. But look who has arrived. I need to take a break from eating. We're gonna run to Best Buy. I'm probably gonna pick up a ring light and maybe like a camera bag. Then we'll run to Walmart pick up some ingredients we need for the rest of the meals, and then we'll see what happens. And then we're gonna play Minecraft and die the sheep. We're gonna die the sheep. So let's get to skipping. I don't know how I'm gonna eat all this food. I still have 2,600 calories left, and uh, we're struggling. It's already 12.30. I'm gonna need some willpower. Maybe I'll hurl too. Maybe, maybe I'll throw up. Spice up the video a little bit. Destination. We made a pit stop, fellas. We weren't expecting to stop here, but we did stop at Trader Joe's. Look what we found, though. Mac and cheese, but the whole package is 270 calories. The only way this will be a flop is if it tastes like ass. We still haven't even hit Best Buy, so hey, we're gonna go pick up that ring light. We'll see what we find. You see it? You see it? 
Look! Look! And look, we got a camera bag. Now that that's done, man's kind of getting hungry, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna hit Walmart, get all the ingredients for the rest of our meals, and then we should be Gucci gang. So hey, let's get to it. We've arrived. We'll go in and see what we find. I'm uh, probably not gonna find anything new. I'm in here every single day. Probably gonna find something, make a TikTok out of it. Before we actually head home, we're gonna hit Chick-fil-A. It's right across the street. Get some more calories in, show you a cheat code over there. It's two o'clock and I still got 2.6K calories left. We're at Chick-fil-A! We're at Chick-fil-A. We got the Chick-fil-A. Yo, you can even say my pleasure. You're supposed to get a free meal or something? We picked up a 24 count grilled chicken nugget and a spicy chicken sandwich. I'll tell you the macros when we get to the house because hey, man's driving. I do not want to get in a car wreck. Maybe I do. See you at home. And we're back. As I was saying, we got the 12 count chicken nugget and we got a spicy chicken sandwich. They're looking good. Yeah, these aren't mine. I already ate mine on the way here. Um, <laughs> the spicy chicken sandwich is actually not the lowest calorie option you can go with. You can actually get the grilled chicken sandwich for, I think, like around 100 calories less. I think the taste of the spicy chicken sandwich really evens it out. Because the grilled chicken sandwich, not as good as the spicy chicken sandwich. This spicy chicken sandwich is coming out to 460 calories, 28 grams of protein. And the nuggets come out to 195 calories and 37 grams of protein. The whole meal combined, 655 calories. That's not bad. And you can even cut it down a little bit more if you get the grilled chicken sandwich. I'm going to eat these up real quick, and then we'll get in the house, and we'll get to more meals. <laughs> uh. Look at all the stuff I've got. I'm about to set up the ring light. What is it for? What's the ring light for? Mm -hmm. You'll see. Look at this. This thing is so bright, man. Before? Good investment. But back to eating. No, why are you so close to me? <laughs> We're gonna make we're gonna make a locale uh locale milkshake. But we're gonna post this on TikTok, so I'm not really gonna show you the process because I gotta record it with my phone. So, but I'll just I'll just show the ingredients. You pretty much just throw it in the blender and blend. Pint of Halo Top. If you guys don't know what this is, locale ice cream. Go get it. Almond milk, half scoop protein. Top it off with some sprinkles and some ready whip. I'll throw I'll throw all the measurements and stuff like right here. <laughs> Let's see how it looks. Woo! All those ingredients made two of these. Some sprinkles and some whipped cream on the top. This cup comes out to about 195 calories, 17 grams of protein, and it tastes pretty good. That's another meal down. I'm, uh, we're, uh, next meal is about to be a banger. Let me show you. You'll just have to see. Wee -woo, wee -woo. Hi mom, hi mom, hi mom, hi mom. Time to cook the mac and cheese, and we're gonna make my signature low calorie, high protein pizza. Yep. We might've just, okay. <laughs> what is this? What is this? These were five dollars each. Well, These mac and cheeses yeah. might be disgusting. Yep. Mom, you can't tell me this. This looks good. What looks good when it's not cooked? You're right. We're gonna we're gonna put those in the oven aside with the pizza, but it's time to make the pizza. So let's get to it. Main secret to this is Joseph's lavish bread. Hundred calories for this whole thing, and it's huge. You'll see. You'll see how big it is. These actually might be stale. Twenty-five calorie pizza sauce, about a half cup. Don't want to use too much, or the pizza won't be crunchy. Give it a nice little spread. When you were in the war in Afghanistan, were you making pizza? As a matter of fact, we were. <laughs> fat free cheese, craft fat free cheese, literally pure protein, 45 calories a serving. Now we just give this cheese a little bit of a spread. Turkey pepperoni, 80 calories for 12 slices. <laughs> and the final product. Now we put it in the oven. Okay, 400 for 10 minutes. I'm listening to Mama Backs. Whoa! It's out. It's Wait, done. It? Look. We'll let this cool down, let the mac and cheese cook a little bit more, and then we'll be. We'll be back. Oh! The grand reveal of the macros. This whole pizza is 365 calories, 50 grams of protein. <laughs> this was a letdown. This mac and cheese, 270 calories. The macros aren't bad, but I'm not gonna lie to you, there's no mac and cheese in here. This might not fill me up. Maybe the taste will make up for it. We'll see. So I'm gonna get to eating this meal, and then we'll see how it do. All right, now we're gonna taste test the mac and cheese. Not right. bad. Oh, I am so full right now. I we still have one thousand one hundred and sixty six to go. Ah, oh, how was that mac and cheese though? Um, a ten out of ten. That was so good. Especially it wasn't for the amount of calories. No, no. It's it good. wasn't a ten out of ten. It was amazing. I'd give it, it a seven point five. No, no. I'd give it a seven point five. No. We'll be back when I know what I'm making. <laughs> little bit of a minecraft break she walks around the world dying sheep i'm about to throw up man like <laughs> on to the second to last meal i call this one the high protein mug cake the ingredients are simple literally just kodiak cakes a scoop of protein in a bowl throw some almond milk in there throw it in the microwave minute 15 seconds bang kodiak cakes protein give it a good stir should come out a little bit like this a little bit like 
like pancake butter. Pancake butter. <laughs> I'm popping in the microwave. Bro, I'm, I'm eating a banana. I can't. I, I need to get my calories in, man. This is not cheating on the challenge. Well, no. I left it in for two minutes. Yep, it's overcooked. It's overcooked. It's usually not hard as a rock like this. <laughs> Cook it for a minute, 15. Pops. Two minutes is too much. Get a Greek yogurt. 80 calories, 12 grams protein. Listen to this ASMR. A little ASMR for you. So then, no. Let me call it a meal. 380 calories, 50 grams of protein. I wasn't expecting that. With this down and the banana down, that is now 2,969 calories down the hatch. We still have 681 more. Once again, I'm, I'm clueless on what we're making next. Man is not prepared. I'm not. It's like 10 minutes after I just ate my last thing. I just need to get this over with. We're gonna make some loaded fries. Um, we got two servings of these 110 calorie fries. You can swap these out for 90 calorie fries. I just couldn't find them. Eight ounces of lean ground beef. I got 93. You can get 96. Lower the calories even more. And we'll just use some more fat free cheese. It's not loaded fries without some cheese. Got no bacon bits. We're lacking. We do have jalapenos though. <laughs> you got pickles. Got pickles. Here they are. But yeah, fries in the air fryer. Lean ground beef on the pan. See how these turn out. <sighs> Voila. This would look appetizing if I wasn't on the brink of death. Let's check the cheese pull. Mm. Ooh la la. This whole bowl is coming out to 650 calories, 70 grams of protein. You can also cut the calories down. As I said, getting 90 calorie fries. Getting 96% lean ground beef. Not bad for the amount of food you're getting and how much protein it's giving you. Yes, I did season my meat. Garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper. That's what I season everything with. Drop some, yo, drop some seasonings in the comments because I, I can't keep doing this. Taste test. It's banging. This now brings us to 3,619 calories. Hopefully this shows you guys how much you can actually eat and actually still stay in your calorie goals. Dieting doesn't need to be hard at all. Find the things that keep you full. Find the things that make it easy for you to stay consistent personally. It'll be a breeze. Hopefully some of these gave you some inspiration for yourself. Use them in your daily routines. We did pretty good today though. I got I got all these down. I, th I thought this was going to be a little bit harder than it was. A man's a former fatty. What can I say? If you guys enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe. Turn on the post noties. Comment how ugly I am. Something like that. Thanks for watching. As usual, I'll see you in the next one, fellas.